guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode one of Assault Lily. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I am so tired. The day I had today. Oh. Okay, we start not strong. Oh, I've been listening to this song all freaking day, hyping myself up because I was already excited about this. And the fact that RAS has an opening to this series is so good. Hopefully, as I said on Twitter, like this is like the uh, the first step in the right direction for the whole entire saves of all the bands and stuff. I mean, yes, both Popping Party and Rosalia both have had songs from the Bang Dream anime, but and it kind of counts. I count it, but then at the same time, this is completely different because it's not an anime focusing on Bendity. It's a different anime. And to have someone like them be a focus for an opening, like, it's so good. I just hope that when this comes out later on this month, we do get something in the game for it. I mean, did we have to focus on that? I mean, I'm not the demographic target um, guys and girls who are for the other team are, but I mean, thank you. I'm just still laughing about the fact that the same VA is what's her face from Comic Girls because <laughs> she's so adorable. Those big monster things, right? Mm. Oh, it's Kaede! I think, like, Fumi? might show up in this. Well, I think everybody is, like, specifically going to show up in the first episode, except the girls who will be in the game that will probably be out either later on in this year going into next year. Oh. <laughs> There was somebody there. Oh, so you got lucky.
go on. Cayenne, it might be coming though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my god, no, Cayenne. <laughs> no, no, Cayenne. <laughs> See, I love the style that Shaft does with most of their anime. I mean, you can see that, like, it is some of the similarities between this Managatari and Madoka and how much, like, think of an effort that they put in these shows. So I'm guessing Endo and Yu Yu um, just don't really like each other. Or they're just like, just big old frenemies. Like, I get it. Yeah, you okay, can't what's your face from the lapis relight for me and the Lynn. Lynetto. There we go. There's your name. Lynn. <laughs> Cause that is all I hear right now. <laughs> Well, how the hell do you know? Damn. Mm -hmm. Do we have to fight now, though? I mean... Wait, Kaede. <laughs> oh, what's your face? Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, my God. Lily. <laughs> Wait, you, you? Sorry. 
so you got three girls by who are in love with her. Okay, that that makes sense. Also makes you wonder, like, what, um, who other big, big saves are possibly in this who are probably not going to be in the game. But hold on, you, you? See, you seem like that type of girl who is like, I just want to do something on my own. I'm independent as fuck. I mean, I get that. Don't worry. I'm like that too. But you, you gotta, you know, there's no I in team. Oh yeah, she is very much like that. You see that face though? Nicer. Mm -hmm. Something happened. The only thing I could probably maybe guess about that is she may have someone close to her die, like a former partner. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, of course she did. I mean, come on now. Look at her with these two. Oh, hey, squirrel. <sighs> mm. Oh, well, that makes sense. So there's one. The fact that Kayede was like ready on the fly. Oh. Or a flash can be. No, Lily, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, she's still, you're still a newbie, and it's fine. You just need me to be like a little bit more training. Oh, damn, they'll have some really old ass self. <laughs> oh. So that's how you do it. The Yuri is strong in this film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I 
Well, hold on, but how long could that be? Like 30 minutes? I mean, we ain't got time for that. Apparently so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they don't be jealous. <laughs> And that had to be the love that she has for me, right? I mean, come on. She calls her name and then... Mm. Well, damn. Well, smart thinking, Lily. See, of course, there's somebody else. <laughs> she had a partner and something happened to her partner. Look how happy she is right there. So well, that's a lot of money, probably. Different. Here we go. Her voice is familiar. Are you serious?
नहीं है रे या बिच इज थिंकिंग ये No, 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 no. Take some credit. You did your ish. But it does though. Oh no, okay, she's so unless you're imagining her. Cause you're so traumatized from that day or something. They're gonna end up of course. Of course you will put a big old to be continued on that. So yeah, her union's pos uh partner right there, gray hair, silver hair or something, she's gotta be dead. I, I mean, cause the way it looks right there, you can't figure it out. But because of the fact is, you know, Lily was like, I gotta thank that other girl. And Union ain't say ish. Something tell me she dead. Like, come on now, we gonna have to wait a little bit to just find out what in the world possibly happened to her. Um, I love it. It's good. This is like, this and a couple other shows, but this show specifically is my number one anticipated show. I had been waiting for this ever since March when it got announced and everything. I didn't know as much as I kind of know now about it, but it's a good show cute and I love it. It gives me um what else does it give me feels besides Madoka? Not only Magical Recorded because freaking Lily and Union not only remind you of Madoka and Homare, they also remind you of I don't remember their names. Oh my god. I don't. And it's gonna it's gonna come to me at a weird time. The two girls, the two main, the purple, the, not the purple, the pink haired girl who's looking for her little sister, and then um, the blue haired girl. I don't remember their names. It's gonna come to me in a very weird way, but I, it's interesting. It ain't bad. It's really really good. It also reminds me a teeny tiny bit of Review Starlight, and with the Review Starlight series, I didn't start that until I think it was like. I didn't do a reaction on that until it was like maybe two, I think they were at the halfway point of the show and then I caught up with it and watched it, but um, let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit more, specifically like from what I found out today while I was out and waiting for the anticipation of this anime to come out. I personally, I feel like the reason this series finally came up to be, because I feel like this is also going to get an English release. I think they wanted to do something, specifically Bushimo wanted something as to kind of compete with Review Starlight. I stopped playing Review Starlight about a year ago for both um, Ian and JP. I don't, I don't really remember. I think I got a little bored with the game because the game was good, but I felt like there were times um, the game felt slow. And I don't know how many people still kind of play both the JP server and the Ian server now. But it could could possibly still be a lot. I think J not yeah, not JP. I think Ian just celebrated their first anniversary for Review Ian server. I don't really remember. 
Um, don't quote me on that <laughs> unless I go look that ish up. But I, I think I still know a couple of people. But I think the reason why this was signed up for not only an anime series but also a game is something to compete against Review Starlight because I feel like Review Starlight is slowly going to be ending soon. The hype of Review Starlight when it started was at its freaking peak. It had everything. It had a had the anime, it had the stage show, it had um the CDs, the um fan meet and greets and a whole bunch of other stuff. The manga and then I think what did it also have a movie as well, I believe. I'm not one hundred percent sure. And I think they're trying to almost somewhat do the same thing with this. The one thing that I will also say that I'm not really I'm a little disappointed about the fact that this is hidden behind um I think from what I did a little bit of research today. I think it's hidden behind anime I'm um, not anime. Um Amazon Japan. Which kind of sucks because also I know Funimation has the rights to it as well, but I'm like, well, damn, this because I don't think like it, it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna get a really big potential, but I think because of the fact is, it is kind of like you know how like when an anime is hidden behind Netflix and then you get to see it, but then everybody else who really wants to also watch it, it doesn't come out for several months until Netflix. And that's what I kind of felt like it's going to be with this show, except we're getting it every single week. And so I felt like possibly either by the beginning, maybe by episodes one, seven, and maybe the final episode of the show. I think the show is supposed to have at least like 12 to 13 episodes. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe the hype will go up for it. I hope and pray it does. I think It'll be really good. The characters are very interesting. I like them all. I just, I really want to know about Union and her ish on, you know, her partner. Lily is just an adorable thing. She, not only because her VA is the main VA from um, Comic Girls, because she's so freaking sweet and cute and adorable. Kaede is... <laughs> Kaede is Kaede. Kaede might have to be best girl for me. Maybe. Um, I do like Fumi. Fumi is interesting not only because of the fact is that is Lynn from uh, Lapis Relights. There's a couple of others that I do like from this group. And then from the other two schools, there's about like two or three girls that I also like as well. But I really am excited for this. I hope we get to see just a little more backstory on each of these girls because there there's something else that's missing. There's got to be another reason on why... Lily wants to become a Lily. I want to see Union's story about how she wanted to become a Lily. Same thing with Kaede, Fumi, the rest of these girls, because it, it should be interesting. I mean, it's there. Just, just write it. I don't care what you do. Just write it and just mm, and be like, here, there's the story. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of Assault Lily. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode two. Bye, guys.